An optical antenna is a device that efficiently couples the energy of free space radiation to a confined region of sub-wavelength size. It is the enabling technology in satellite communications, microwave and radio waves, cellular phones, and many other devices which use electromagnetic radiation. Optical radiation is manipulated by redirecting the wave fronts with lenses and mirrors. Historically, because of diffraction, optical fields could not be localized to dimensions much smaller than the optical wavelength. Optical antennas are a solution to this mismatch between the small dimensions of nanoscale devices and the length scale associated with optical wavelengths. Nanotechnology is the science and technology of manipulating matter on an atomic and molecular scale and generally deals with developing materials, devices, and other structures possessing at least one dimension size from 1 to 100 nanometers. By adding nanoscale optical antennas to commercially available lasers, one is able to focus infrared light onto a spot just 40 nanometers wide, 1 20th the light's wavelength. The optical antenna collects light from the laser and concentrates it to an intense spot measuring tens of nanometers or about 1 1,000th the width of a single human hair. In the Harvard Research Laboratory of Federico Cabazzo and Kenneth Crozier, the antenna consists of two gold patches. 130 nanometers long by 50 nanometers wide, separated by a 30 nanometer gap. When light from the laser strikes the rectangles, the antenna has what Cabazzo calls a lightning rod effect. An intense electrical field forms in the gap, concentrating the laser's light onto a spot the same width as the gap. As you can see by the picture above, the potential for this technology allows for greater utilization of the surface area. And because nanoscale devices need to interface with optical radiation, it is likely that optical antennas will have a broad impact on this technology. This field of optical antennas is in its infancy, and new studies and, de and developments are evolving at a rapid rate. Competition is yet to be fully determined, but it starts with the evolution of how the technology will be used, as well as what will be the universal design. It is a technology that is on the verge of an explosion. Research Researchers trying to make high-capacity DVDs as well as more powerful computer chips and higher-resolution optical microscopes have for years run up against the diffraction limit. Physicists have tried to get around this issue in the laboratory, but the results have been too fragile and complicated for practical use. Based on the ability of Crozier and Cabazzo to develop an antenna in a way that it helps focus the light from an inexpensive laser onto a spot the size of 40 nan nanometers helps resolve the problem. To understand better the importance of this discovery, it's useful to compare the wavelengths. CDs use lasers with a wavelength of 790 nanometers, DVDs 650 nanometers, and HD DVDs and Blu-rays use 450 nanometers. The 40 nanometers of the optical nano antenna are very impressive. One of the more visible emergent applications of this technology should be on the optical data storage. This could lead to vastly increased storage capacities, such as 3 terabytes, which is 3,000 gigabytes of data, on an optical disk the size of our regular CD. Such optical antennas could one day make possible DVDs-like disks that store 3.6 terabytes of data, the equivalent of more than 750 of today's recordable DVD. Other uses for the optical antenna array include artificially enhancing the absorption cross-section or quantum yield results in increasing efficiency of optoelectronic devices or solar cells for efficiently releasing energy from nanoscale devices such as LED lighting and for boosting the efficiency of biochemical detectors such as fluorescence. It has been suggested that optical antennas are a way to advance the frontiers of meteorology and to control light matter interactions. Specifics include collision avoidance, automatic tolling, and remote sensing navigation. There could be other implications from super high resolution optical microscopes, faster chips for comp computers, and powerful telescopes with high resolution. However, we cannot forget that such a potential innovation could be applied also in the wrong way. While this technology may be able to create many new materials and devices with a vast range of applications such as studying incurable illnesses, it could also be used in the cloning field with erroneous effects. It might be implemented in the military world with the results of a more accurate but more powerful weapon. Nanotechnology raises many of the same issues as any other new technology, including concerns about toxicity and environmental impact of the nanomaterials and their potential effect on global economics. Large amounts of data on a single disk has great potential, but it also has great risks. These concerns have led to a debate among advocacy groups and governments on whether special regulations of nanotechnology is warranted. 
In summary, laser optical antennas represent a relatively new approach to getting around the old diffraction limit characterizing conventional optics, namely the inability of a lens to focus light for imaging purposes to any better than about half the wavelength of the light being used. This technology has potential across all industries, if for no other reason than its ability to store significant amounts of data in a very small space. The challenges and risks associated will need to be resolved, and we will see some very creative business applications in the field of entertainment, business, astronomy, medicine, and the energy utility field.